Hi guys, Jordan with Motion Array, and today we're gonna be taking a look at After Effects, and specifically, we're gonna be taking a look at what to do to make After Effects stop crashing. You're probably really frustrated and just want some answers, so let me just get straight to the point on what you can do if After Effects keeps crashing, shutting down, or failing to render or export. We're gonna start with the things to try that are fastest, easiest, and cheapest before moving on to solutions like buying a better computer, which, believe it or not, will actually help you far more than you can ever imagine. So let's start it off with number one, update your software. Don't roll your eyes at me, I know a lot of people mock this step, but please, do me a favor, try it. The whole reason they actually release new updates is because old problems are usually fixed. Now, a lot of people will say don't immediately jump onto a new version as soon as it comes out, but guess what? If it is a little bit buggy, there'll be new bugs and you can easily roll back to the previous version. But what's gonna be far more likely is that your old problems are gonna be fixed. Go to your creative cloud and update your software, and if possible, get rid of your old software in the process. If you're doing it through the Creative Cloud app, it should be incredibly simple. Number two, media and disk cache. The next thing we're gonna try is to figure out where your media and disk cache is actually located. If it's on a slow drive with less than 10 gigabytes of space on it, you're gonna be running into some problems. For myself personally, I have a cheap SSD whose only purpose is to hold scratch disk materials. This is actually really recommended, not just as a way to help stability, but also to increase performance. But if you don't have an SSD lying around and if you don't wanna go out and buy a new one, here's what you wanna do just to make sure that your system's actually stable. Go up to Edit, Preferences, Media Cache and then choose a location on your fastest possible drive, making sure that it has as much free space as possible on it, but if you're really in a pinch, just try to make sure it has more than 30 gigabytes. Sometimes system crashes and render failures in specific can happen because these scratch disk files are either corrupted or they don't have enough space to read or write effectively to your drive. So the last thing that I would do is delete all of your scratch disk files and let them repopulate nice and fresh. All you have to do is hit this empty disk cache button. And while we're here deleting media cache files, another thing you can do is try purging your RAM. Go up to Edit, Purge, Purge All Memory and Disk Cache. This not only gets rid of any potentially corrupted media cache files, but also purges your memory at the same time. To clarify, purging memory is not dangerous. In fact, memory is actually what's being used to generate your playback here in After Effects. So the worst thing that'll happen is that you'll just have to have After Effects process your composition fresh again but at least it'll also have maybe gotten rid of anything problematic that was getting in the way before. Computers are complicated. Sometimes just by resetting everything and starting fresh can actually clear up the problem. Number three, reserve RAM. Here's just basically a quick fix that tells your computer to give more resources specifically to After Effects, which if you're pushing your system pretty hard, may be able to help it to not freak out and die on you. Go up to edit, preferences, memory, and you should see that there's a blue number that you can change to influence the RAM reserved for other applications. You want this number as low as possible, basically saying that you want less resources to be given to other applications and more to be prioritized for After Effects to have first dibs. Now, this will only actually fix your problem if lack of system memory availability was the root cause in the first place. But regardless, overall, it'll actually boost your system's performance because After Effects requires RAM for things as simple as actually just playing through your footage, previously known as RAM Preview. This simple change might just help you to have a little bit of a snappier and faster experience inside of After Effects. Next up, problems with the video card. Ah, the video card, the bicep of the computer. Sadly, this is where a lot of errors occur when it comes to rendering and exporting and even overall system crashes. Depending on the kind of computer you have and the specific GPU installed, you can actually use it to take the load off your CPU for some really hard working tasks. But if you're constantly getting errors and crashes, you might wanna disable some of these nice features so that you can actually test to see whether or not that's the root cause of the problem. Here's what I'd suggest trying out. Go to preferences, display, and diselect hardware accelerate composition layer. Then go to file, project settings, and under video rendering and effects, select a non-GPU acceleration option. This will certainly make your project work and render slower, but if it means that you're not gonna be interrupted by crashes anymore, take your pick. Now, what you can do is start going through these one by one and also try different combinations to see which one actually helps your system to stop crashing. Then once you zero in on what's actually helping, your online troubleshooting is gonna be a lot more specific and therefore a lot easier. If you wanna delve into actually fixing the GPU itself, there's actually a really simple place for you to start, and that's by updating your graphics card's drivers. Now, that sounds a lot more complicated than it actually is. The first step is to just figure out what brand of GPU you're actually using. If you don't know, go to the task manager, 
and go to Performance, and then click on the GPU section. It'll say it right up here at the top. If you're on a Mac, go to Apple, About This Mac, and under Graphics, you should see your setup. But really, you should just be able to update your software as a whole, and this should be included. So I have an NVIDIA card, so that's what I'll use as an example. Go to the website for that particular GPU manufacturer. Go to the Drivers section, take your GPU information, and use it to search for that specific one under their website download section. And you'll be provided with an option to download the most recent set of drivers. Download these, double click on them, and keep clicking on next, and your computer will take care of the rest of the process. And I'll make sure to leave a link so that you can shortcut right to the page that you need. Next up, are your problems happening specifically when you're trying to render and export a project? Well, if that's the case, then you can actually try to circumvent the problem entirely by taking that process out of After Effects and instead exporting through Adobe Media Encoder. And it's actually a lot easier than you might expect. All you have to do is instead of pressing Render, press Q instead. This offloads the job from After Effects and gives you a potentially more stable export. And even if the render still ends up failing, chances are it won't crash your entire system which, even if it didn't fix the problem, makes your situation a lot less frustrating. Next up, third-party plugins and add-ons. Do you have third-party plugins installed for After Effects? Well, sorry to say that these can sometimes really up your system, and it gets even more complicated when you have multiple different versions of After Effects running on the same computer. So if you have third-party plugins and nothing else has worked for you so far, this is what I would try next. Navigate to this location on either your Mac or PC. Now, copy and paste your plugins to a new location for safekeeping to go back to later. They're usually not big file sizes, so you should be okay no matter where you put them. Then, delete the ones found in your After Effects folder. Then, reopen After Effects and see if this has fixed your problem. Now, I realize that this solution really sucks if you're actually using those third-party plugins in your current project, but even if you take them out, turn After Effects back on, shut it down again, take those plugins and put them back in, then this sometimes can actually rejig your system and allow it to communicate properly. Computers are just really confusing sometimes. But what happens if After Effects just actually isn't opening up at all for you? This might feel really frustrating and pointless because you can't actually get in there and change settings to actually try and fix the problem. In that case, what I would do is go back along that original file path that we looked at for plugins, but stop a little bit early and see if you have multiple versions of After Effects installed. Sometimes your computer can accidentally be trying to pull from multiple different versions at the same time. So by taking the older version, renaming it, and adding the little note afterwards, open bracket, old, close bracket, it can kick it out of contention for your computer to try and pull information from for After Effects. Really, there's nothing special about renaming this to say old, other than to tell you as the user that this is the version of After Effects you're not using anymore. Really, as long as the name is changed at all from what it was installed as, then your computer is going to react accordingly. But if you're like me and you've tried this in the past, then there's a chance that it'll work for the first time you try to open up After Effects, but then every subsequent time you try to open After Effects after that, the problem just repeats itself. If that's your situation, then what I would suggest is that you gotta contact Adobe support because this is a problem that's extremely frustrating to try and deal with. So, good luck! I'm rooting for you. And finally, the non-techie solutions. So far, we've tried a bunch of solutions that are more finicky and technical in their nature, but now we're gonna go over a couple that are a little bit more common sense and just might actually fix your situation. Is your computer overheating? If it's a laptop, try raising it up off your table and using a mount or fan stand to try and keep it airflow underneath it while you're working on it. If it's a desktop, figure out if you've got some fans that aren't spinning, or you could even go as far as to place a room fan so that it's blowing cold air right at your computer. And finally, it might just be that your computer isn't suitable to use for After Effects at all. It might just be that your computer is not quite powerful enough to do the heavy lifting that you're asking of it. So if you really, really need to use After Effects and your computer just isn't up to the task, then what I might suggest is going over to Puget Systems and checking out their hardware requirements for Adobe After Effects. They'll show you a complete list of the different pieces of hardware that you'll need in order to make After Effects work properly. And what's nice is that the way that After Effects is set up to run currently is that it doesn't actually need the most amazing hardware to run absolutely buttery smooth. It's way more about making smart, strategic choices with what's actually inside your computer, so I'll link to some resources for you to be able to check that out. But guys, that's it for me. I really hope that at least one of these solutions was able to help you to get After Effects back up and running again. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and consider sharing it with a fellow video editor friend. And if you're looking for ways to spice up your After Effects projects, we've got tons of After Effects templates and presets right here at motionarray.com. Thanks so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.